2016 Ford Flex. A car that you either love or you hate. A lot of people think the Ford Flex is just uh, plain ugly. A lot of people say it looks like a hearse. But a lot of people love the unique design of the Ford Flex. I am one of those people, along with the extreme comfort this car has. I've driven pretty much every Ford that is on the market and has in previous models that's been on the market and are now discontinued. The Ford Flex is by far one of the most comfortable Fords you can drive. The seats that I'm sitting in here, they're comfort oriented. There's no bolstering really or anything like that. It's not a performance car. Although you can get the three and a half liter twin turbo V6 as an engine alternative for the Ford Flex. It's like it's the weird looking cousin of the Ford Explorer. They share the same platform, although the Flex has even more room. So today we're gonna do a full tour of the exterior and the interior of the new 2016 Ford Flex. We're gonna start by taking a look at the X exterior of the Ford Flex. The car in today's review is ruby red with black accents. I picked this one here because it has an appearance package that gives it this look. I mean, this car just looks absolutely amazing in my opinion. So it has the ruby red exterior, as I mentioned, black accents. The appearance package gives it the black roof. The only thing missing on this car here is the sunroof the panoramic sunroof that is, but we're gonna take a look at that a little later as well on a different flex. Let's do a quick little walk around here so you can see it from every angle. That's the black gloss painted wheels, 20 inch. Looks very nice on this Ford Flex. As I mentioned in the beginning, a lot of people say that the Ford Flex sort of looks like a hearse because of the way that it is designed. It is very long and it has a very unique look to it. I mean, I love the car. It looks different. Right next to it is its I mean, do you want to call it brother or cousin, which is the Ford Explorer? You guys have seen the reviews I've done on this car already. But these two vehicles are on the same platform. Although the Ford Flex looks completely different. Took a look at the front here already. But it looks pretty cool to me. It has Flex across the hood flex comes in a three and a half liter v6 which this one here has it is 287 horsepower and 254 pound feet of torque it also comes available in the big three and a half liter twin turbo EcoBoost V6 with 365 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque. That's all Ford vehicles. That's the capless fuel tank system. Very convenient. Just stick the nozzle in there. You don't have to mess around with the cap. Love that feature myself on my Ford Fusion. The Flex still has the older smart key access fob. Looks like this. You have your lock, unlock, the uh, lift gate, and a panic button, and then remote start. Remote start 
works by hitting the lock button once and double clicking. Shut it off by hitting once. This flex is all wheel drive. A backup camera right there and the backup camera is actually a standard for all Ford flexes for 2016 no matter what trim level this is an SEL it is the mid range trim plenty of features on this Ford flex though as we're gonna go through here shortly I'm gonna pop the lift gate Tons of room and space. The Ford Flex actually has best in class second row leg space and headroom, as well as best in class third row leg room and headroom. So I'm going to fold one of these seats up here. Since this is an SEL trim level, whoops. Sorry about that. Since this is an SEL trim level, the third row seat is not power. All right, so you can actually do this with one hand almost. I said almost. <laughs> so you got two uh, latches here, one black and one red. Let's pull the black one, pull up at the same time to fold it. Pull the red latch and pull this right here at the same time. Almost worked with one hand. And that's how you fold the seat up. So here you can see the amount of cargo you would have with the third row seat up and the amount of cargo space you have with the third row seat down. Close the lift gate by clicking this button right here. You hear a chime and just get out of the way. I'm going to jump back into the second row here. Move those floor mats out of the way just to demonstrate the leg room that you have. I'm six foot two. I just drove this car as you saw. This is the amount of leg room you would have sitting behind me, which is absolutely amazing. Got plenty of space here. And as you can see, plenty of headroom as well. The Ford Flex is an excellent vehicle for a big family, even if you have grown kids like me. As you can see, you would fit just fine in the Ford Flex. And while we're down here, take a look. You got an AC outlet, full power plug. You got a 12 volt here. Then you have climate controls for the rear passengers. Cup holder and storage compartment. As you could see with the climate controls you have, or the, the rear passengers have vents the second row and as well as the third row. Gonna jump back out here and take a look at the driver's seat. And as you can see here, memory seatings for uh, two different drivers even in an SEL trim level usually you have to go to the top of the line trim level with the Fords to get that 
You got automatic windows down and up for driver and passenger. The interior is charcoal black. It's a two-tone. Don't really know what I think of this interior here, but <laughs> kind of unique looking as well. So let's jump in here. All right, so we have push button start. Put your foot on the brake and hit the button. The 2016 Ford Flex is obviously the latest model year for the Flex, but it has yet to have a uh, overhaul or a facelift to the exterior and the interior it's looked the same since i think it is 2013 so the ford flex actually has the steering wheel of the previous ford explorer the 2016 ford explorer like this platinum out here has a slightly re revised uh, steering wheel so but basically what you have is buttons on the left side of the steering wheel cruise control here buttons on the right side of the steering wheel and then you have your voice activation button and volume and that kind of thing and the buttons on the left side of the steering wheel control the instrument cluster on the left side of the speedometer so you basically have different display modes digital tachometer you have trip meters fuel economy this car doesn't have any fuel economy yet it's brand new it has 8.4 miles on it and moving over to the right instrument cluster this cluster allows you to toggle between your entertainment the navigation the phone and if your phone is synced up and you have a Bluetooth device you can toggle uh, between different tracks that you're playing music wise and that kind of thing moving along to the center stack here one new feature for 2016 is that you have the updated sync 3 infotainment system excellent system I have a separate video where I do a more in-depth tutorial and review of the sync 3 system uh, you'll have a link that pops up on your screen you can click that if you're interested in learning more about how the sync 3 system works but just to go over it real quick here you have a menu bar down here that is always up you basically have audio climate phone settings navigation and sync 3 works kind of like a smart tablet where you can zoom by pinching you can swipe by just sliding your finger and you also have excellent voice command capabilities here please say a command frank sinatra tuning to frank sinatra That's how easy that works. Now the dashboard here, hard surface, but to me, honestly, that doesn't really matter. I don't really hang out on the dashboard of my car, so I don't really care what, you know, if it's soft or not, <laughs> to be honest with you. So we're just gonna keep focusing here on the center stack where you have your volume controls, um, fan speed, temperature, just different mainly climate controls here and moving down here you have a six-speed automatic transmission park drive you have a sport mode with the capability of shifting manually with these buttons right here interesting little inserts they have here in the doors don't know if I like that yet but 
I just feel that everything with the Ford Flex is just unique. It's different. Automatic lights. I know I keep jumping all over the place here with this car and the, the, fe the features that I'm showing, but <laughs> I apologize. I hope you're sticking with me here. Cup holders. 12, 12 volts here. Charging your phone, you have a little cubby right there. Maybe stick, yeah, this is pretty deep, so you can probably stick your phone in there. And then you actually have a cubby right here as well. Right by the driver. Open up the center armrest here. Lots of room down here as well as two additional USB ports, coin holder, I don't know if I stuck that in there right, but just so much room in the uh, Ford Flex. As I mentioned earlier, the only thing this car is missing is the sunroof. Second row gets their own sunroof, and then the third row back there get two separate ones, kind of like a skylight. But we're gonna jump in a another Ford Flex here soon and I'll show you that feature as well. And again, just to show you guys here, I am six foot two, this is my driving position. I mean, there's just crazy amounts of headroom in this car. It's just so much room and I, I love it. For a family, this car is perfect. A universal garage door opener right here. Vanity mirrors with lights. On both sides, obviously. You have your sunglass holder right here. like a two-tone interior the dashboard is dark ceiling more of a lighter color I prefer the darker color this just it stains easily because I have the same color here on my fusion and you just get stains on the the visors and and so on So what I'm going to do is jump into another flex that we have here just to display the, uh, the nice sunroofs that you can get with the Ford Flex. Okay guys, so here we are inside another Ford Flex that actually has the sunroofs. I wanted to show you how that looks. This is obviously for the uh, driver and the passenger, front seat here, regular sunroof. And I'm in the second row here. As we pan around here, see that you have like a skylight type feature here. And I love this feature. Very nice for rear passengers. And then you have a little shade here that you can just pull over if you don't want to use it. Easily pulls back out. And I have one here on my side as well. To turn around here, we can take a look at the third row passengers as well. And they have their own sunroof back there as well. And just to take a look at a different color interior, this one here has the all black leather interior, which looks a whole lot nicer in my opinion. So if the red one that is sitting right out there that we did the actual review of would have this interior, it'd be a lot better.
All right, so let me know what you guys think of the 2016 Ford Flex. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it's a very unique looking car. Um, perfect for a big family. Great room for passengers as well as cargo space if that's what you need. This is a seven seater. I'm sitting in the bench seat here. You can also get a, or you can also get dual bucket, more captain's looking chairs as well if you want a six seater. But I love this car. And uh, as I mentioned already, um, you either, what I've noticed, hate or love this car because of the way it looks. Uh, it just has a very unique design. Um, it'd be interesting to see what Ford is going to do for 2017 if they're going to give this car a little overhaul as well Give it a facelift that kind of thing and see what it looks like But let me know what you think of this car in the comment section below. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Give me your opinion and if this is your first time checking out the channel, please browse it watch some of the other videos If you like them hit that subscribe button Remember to follow on Facebook at autoblog Instagram at autoblog and Twitter at Autoblog, whatever is your personal preference when it comes to social media. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll see you in the next video.